Today we're going to talk about sample practice questions for fiancé or spouse visa consular interviews. Visa Coach. Fast, easy, and personal. Hi, Fred Wall, the Visa Coach here. Now following are the interview questions that I have collected over the years and that I share with my clients and I ask them to study these in preparation for their fiance or spouse visa interview. This has helped my clients have enjoyable and successful interviews. I hope it will help you too. What questions are asked at the U.S. Embassy Consular Interview? My name is Fred Wall and I am the visa coach known in the field of fiancé and spouse immigration for fast and easy approval and the personal one-on-one -on -one attention you as my client would enjoy. I invented the three-step immigration success method which anticipates the likely problems and skepticism your case might face and then squashes those issues by working together with you on the ideal appearance of your case and the preparation of my signature front-loaded presentation that tells your story the way we want it heard. When properly implemented, my method helps win approval for your visa even before the interview begins. If you are the foreign-born fiancé of an American, the final step before your visa is granted. Before you can start your new life in America will be an interview at the U.S. Consulate. There, the officer asks questions about you and your American sponsor. You must convince him that you have an honest and genuine relationship. Only then will he approve your case. The official is tasked to look for fraud. This is the last hurdle before the visa is issued and the last chance for the consulate to catch any irregularities that were not spotted before. He plans to determine whether in his opinion you are of good moral character and if the relationship is genuine. He is seeking to trip you up, to catch sham marriages by couples who fraudulently marry solely for purpose of obtaining entry to the USA. During your interview, it is essential you remain calm and poised, and that you don't stumble over your answers or take too long to answer or give too many maybes or I don't know responses. There should not be any question the consular officer may ask that surprises or finds you unprepared to answer. Normally, Visa Coach clients have a very short interview, three to five minutes only, with only a very few easy questions asked. This is due to my front-loaded preparation of your case that provides answers to the consular officer's expected questions. He finds these answers when he's looking at the case file before the interview starts. Now the consular officer is not required to look at the evidences you hand carry to the interview, but he is required to review the case file that was originally submitted to USCIS. As he prepares for the interview by reading the file that Visa Coach assembled, he's going to see your situation clearly and positively presented. We will already answer the questions he would normally ask. This usually leaves him with not much more to say than welcome to the USA and approve your visa. If you have not used my help and your original petition was not crafted to Visa Coach's high standards, well, expect to have a less pleasant interview. 
The weaker your original petition, expect more questions, tougher questions, and a longer interview. Hopefully, things may not be so bad as to turn from interview into interrogation, but that could happen, especially if a poorly prepared petition reveals red flags and raises more questions, well, then it properly answers. This is when couples who prepared their own petitions or hired budget form-filling services find out that they should have hired Visa Coach. Here are some of the common questions that might be asked at your interview. American fiancé's background. Who is your fiancé? Write his full name in English. Where does your fiancé live? What is his date of birth? What city was your fiancé born in? What state was he born in? Do you have a photo of your fiancé? How tall is your fiancé? How much does he weigh? What is his religious background? What do you like best about your fiancé? What is his favorite dish or food? What kind of food does he like? What is his favorite football team? What are your fiancé's hobbies? What does your fiancé like to do? What is his favorite song? What is his favorite movie? What kind of camera does he have? What is his favorite sport? Does he own a car? What kind of car does he own? American fiancé's family. What is your fiancé's mother's maiden name? Have you met your fiancé's parents? Well, how do you get on with them? What is your fiancé's father's job or profession? Does your fiancé have brothers or sisters? How old are they? What are their names? American fiancé's living arrangements. Where is your fiancé's home? What does it look like? What is nearby? How much room is there? Does he have a garden? How far is it from his work? American fiancé's marriage history. Has your fiancé been married before? Does this matter to you? What was your fiancé's ex-wife's name? When did he divorce his ex-wife? Does he have any children? How many children does he have? What are their names? What are their ages? American fiancé's work. How much is his annual income? What does your fiancé do for a living? Foreign fiancé's background. Have you ever been arrested? Have you ever been refused entry to the U.S. or had problems with U.S. immigration? Do you belong to the Communist Party? What is your adopted English name? How did you get your adopted English name? Where are you from? What is your date of birth? Foreign fiancé's family. How do your parents feel about you going to America to marry? 
Have your parents met your fiancé? Foreign fiancé's marriage history. Have you been married before? When were you divorced? Where is your ex-husband now? Do you have any children? Foreign fiancé's work. What do you do for a living? Do you work? Are you studying? What subject? History of the relationship. When did you start to communicate with your fiancé? How long have you been communicating with your fiancé? When did you find out you love him? When and where did you first meet? And how did it come about that you met each other? How often have you two been face to face together? What are your respective ages? What do you two have in common? When and how did your fiancé propose to you? Does your fiancé send you money? When did you two start to communicate with each other? Did he come to visit you? And what did he do while visiting you? How many times has he come to visit? Why did he come only one time? When did he come to visit? How long did he stay and visit with you? Where did he stay? How long did you know each other before he came to meet you? Communications. Does your fiancé speak and understand your language? Do you speak and understand your fiancé's language? How do you two communicate? Do you speak on the telephone? What languages do you use? How often do you talk on the telephone? If he does not speak your native language, how do you communicate? Wedding plans. Do you have any wedding plans? When will you get married? When did you decide to get married? Where will you be marrying? What kind of ceremony do you plan? How many people will be invited to your wedding? Will you have a honeymoon? If yes, where? And why do you want to marry your fiancé? How can you marry him having seen him only one time? Do you know him well enough to marry him? Future plans. Where do you plan to live in the United States? What is the address? What do you plan to do in America? Fred Wall and VisaCoach.com I know what it feels like to be in love and separated by thousands of miles from my partner. I was first engaged during the late 1970s. Webcams, Skype, Magic Jacks were all science fiction. I had to pay AT&T $4 a minute for my once monthly call to my fiance in the Philippines. And we exchanged airmail letters written on ultra thin blue paper that took about two weeks to arrive. I applied for a fiance visa for Maryland. It was granted and we married on Valentine's Day at the courthouse in Dallas, Texas. Twenty years later, while living in Hong Kong, I met my second wife, Joyce. We married and had two kids. When the oldest was six, we decided it was time to move to the USA. 
and enroll Michael in kindergarten and live in a great city to raise kids, San Diego, California. I applied for a spouse visa for Joyce and was with her at her interview at the U.S. Consulate on Garden Road in Hong Kong. I do understand the immigration process from all sides, from your side and the officer's side too. I know what can happen and what should happen. And my mission is to make sure that what should happen does happen for you and you get your visa and happily ever after fast and easy. It is all too common for do-it-yourselfers to make rookie mistakes that derail the process. Instead of attempting this campaign alone or using a budget form filler, do what is best for you and your loved one. Choose me, the Visa Coach, to personally guide you safely and quickly through this entire process. Asking U.S. Immigration for permission to bring your fiancé to America for marriage and happily ever after is a slow, complicated, and often frustrating process. It is all too easy to make crucial mistakes that cause delays and denials. Fred Wall, the visa coach, has written a short guide for couples contemplating fiancé immigration that points out the pitfalls, red flags, and common mistakes which cause problems and how to avoid them. The Visa Coach is giving away this indispensable guide free of charge because visas shouldn't stand in the way of love. For you and your partner's peace of mind, don't do anything until you read this guide first. Get your free copy at visacoach.com forward slash five.